Right, we've moved a bit further up the site, and that's the old train station, the shed where they kept the trains. And as you can see, there's railway lines going all the way along here, and they lead out over there to another part of the mine. Now, this was the area of the mine where they would process all the ore. And here there used to be jiggers and shakers and riddles and women and children working to produce uh, the galena ready for smelting into lead ore. Now, when I first came, this area still had a lot of the machinery because now I'm talking about uh, in the 19th, just early, late 19th, early 1950s and a lot of the machinery was still here it's all now been taken away there's only a few bits there's a, a couple of bits of machinery up here which I'm looking at and we're going to go over and take a look to see just what it is these are uh, riddles and shakers for uh, processing the ore now they're all looking a bit rusty but you can certainly see the sieves and they were driven by belt action and springs on them. Yeah. Oh, there's another, Sam's just pointed out there's another railway line here. And it goes all the way around this site. And these are the uh, machines that they would have used. I think they call them jiggers. It says jigger on the side of there anyway. And these would shake about and sort out the lead from the the other rocks in order to process it so I've actually got a book here which shows some important bits I don't know how well it'll show up on camera out here but uh, we'll try now the first thing I want to show you is this one And that there is in the book and it's a picture of a lead ingot and on it it's got Roman writing so they know that these mines have been mined for lead since the Roman times that's over 2,000 years and uh, they were then as I say worked right up until the 1950s now we're going to move further on up and have a look at a, a building which has got significant uh, interest and I'll have to walk back because I can't get down the steps and I'll have to go back and down here but we're heading up there to another part of the mine where we can see one of the mine shafts as I go down here Sam's leading the way down this path and I'm going to try and Turn the pages over. Where we're going now has all been renewed. And when we see it, you'll see that the wood on it is quite new because it's all been renewed. Now, when I saw it back in the 50s, it looked like this. This is a picture of it in the 1950s. And you can see it's all broken down and rotted away. But now it's all been restored as an attraction for people to come and look at in the area. Now if I can turn the page over again, I'm sorry about the camera shaking, but I'll show you another couple of pictures. This are pictures of some of the machinery that was used for sorting out the white quartz and calcite to get the galena out. But they've removed them all. Those buckets were still here when I came as a young boy. They call them kibbles and they were used in the mine for transporting the ore from underground to the surface. Now that machine there was a drum for taking the, the uh, material, the lead gleaner out. And I've actually got a specimen, which I'll show when I get home, that came out of that particular machine. After they moved it, they tipped it upside down and it was full of galena. And I've managed to grab some before it all got thrown away. So I've got a piece out of that old machinery. I don't know why they didn't save it, but they thought it was rubbish, so they threw it away. So now we're going to climb these steps up to Black Tom. <laughs> and you can see it there. And you can see it's all been renewed. 
Now, Black Tom, I've got to tell you, has got a very sad tale to tell. Because uh, back in the 1800s, I don't know exactly the date, this was a site of a great tragedy. It was probably the worst mining accident that there ever was in Snail Beach. And seven miners went down in the cage and the rope broke. You see that rope going over the top to that winding house? It used to have two back in the day. It's only got one now. But if you look in there, you can see there's a cage. Now it's got a little truck in it to make it interesting. But seven men would pack into there and then be lowered down into Black Tom. Oh, Paddington's coming to have a look. So there's Paddington at Black Tom. And Sam's there as well. Now I was about his age when I first came here and it was real exciting to me, I couldn't believe it. As I searched around the rocks trying to find different things. Now seven men fell to their deaths in that cage. And uh, you'd hardly believe it, but that cage was squashed down with seven men inside it to about 18 inches. And they still remember them today. Every year they open the mine to uh, allow people to pay homage to those seven men who died in that terrible accident. Now this building here is the old blacksmith shop. And I've got a picture showing the old blacksmith shop in this book. But they've turned it into a... I don't know whether I can find it. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking about, but I'm trying to turn pages in the book. Okay, I'm coming. And as usual, when you want to show something, you can't find it. So here we've got a picture that was probably taken right here. And there it is. That's a picture of this blacksmith shop with the men outside the door waiting to have their tools sharpened, which I believe they had to pay for. So this is the old blacksmith shop of the mine. Now I'm going inside, but I don't think you'll be able to see much because it's really dark in here, but we'll try. And this is the old blacksmith shop of the mine. Thank you. There's the old tools and bits and pieces. I'm standing in the way of somebody else filming, so I'll move over. Now I don't know whether you can see it. There's a forge there, anvil, drilling equipment. There's a big hoist for lifting up really heavy things. And they've restored it all. There's the bellows. And there's a wheelbarrow that they probably used in the mine, full of mineral. And there's the lamps that they used to take down and scales. Really interesting place. And there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here from the mining days. There's one of the kibbles stood by the side of the forge. And this is where they would repair and sharpen all the drills and hammers and bits and pieces that were used in the mine. So we're coming outside again. And we'll move up and have another look at Black Tom from a different angle. This is the winding house where they used to use to wind the cables up and down. Now, as I said, there were two cables, and how it worked was, as the one uh, cage came up, the other one went down. Now, as you can see, it's not very thick, and uh, so it's not surprising that if they didn't maintain them and keep them in good order, there was a chance that they could actually uh, fail, and they did. Now there's another board over here which might tell us a little bit about the terrible accident that took place here many years ago. And uh, if I can get that into focus, I'll show you that one. And this shows a scene of Black Tom Mine in the days when it was open as a mine. Now then, we've probably seen most of the buildings now around here. There is a visitor center. I don't know. They say it's open. I don't know whether it is. 
and I'll just walk up here. But on days when they open the mine, you can actually go in. And this mine here is a Snail Beach Mine, 1848. And that little carriage on those railway lines you can go into the mine and you can actually go in there. I don't know whether it's actually open today, but we'll see. And of course, there's a lot more buildings down there. And they're all uh, boiler houses. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see in a minute if it's open. But I'll just finish this little bit of video in with showing you that. And that was the boiler house, I believe, where they would stoke boilers to make pressure and steam to go into the mine. Right, well, we'll see whether this visitor center is actually open. We might have a little look. But I'll just cut off video in now with a little last glimpse of Black Tom. <laughs>